But porch pirates aren't the only dangers to look out for this holiday season. The Utica Police Department is warning the public about an increase of scams this season. So here are a few tips they're offering to keep you from becoming a victim. First of all, never give personal information such as bank account numbers or social security over the phone or other electronics. Don't always believe your caller ID as many scammers use fake information. Be cautious about how you choose to pay for things online because not all methods have strong fraud protection. And talk to someone before rushing to give a scammer your money or information. They want you to act quickly, but try not to panic and verify the situation. And also, don't deposit a check and wire money back. If that check is fake, you may become responsible for paying back the bank. And lastly, they say to never click on a link that you don't recognize. And with Thanksgiving over, the shift toward Christmas has already begun. And one local village is getting an early start on the holiday festivities. Our Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Gregory brings us all the details. Now that the leftovers from Thanksgiving have been put away, it's time to start preparing for the Christmas season. And this evening, the village of Clinton held their annual tree lighting ceremony. This year marks well over 50 years that the village of Clinton has held this event as part of their Clinton Shopper Stroll. And Elizabeth Tantillo, the mayor of Clinton, says that events like this help everyone get into the holiday spirit. And it has this magical quality of uh, bringing families together and seeing old friends and having lots of things to do in typically not great weather. <laughs> So um, I think it's everyone looks forward to it. They look forward to the tree lighting and uh, seeing all the merchants, all the, all the great stores that we have here. And uh, it's just something everyone looks forward to. These were just a couple events that took place this evening, with even more scheduled to take place on Saturday. The uh, shopper's roll started at 10 a.m. this morning, and uh, the library kicks it off with a used jewelry sale that is used toward the operations of the law library. Uh, one of the great things about Clinton is that we're a very generous uh, community and we are filling the bus with um, canned goods and uh, donations for the food pantry, the country pantry, which um, helps feed over 600 families a month. So that is a critical part. Plus, uh, various um, businesses have uh, not only their new merchandise to show you, but they are, they also, there's been crafts, there's been Santa at the bank, there has been um, hot chocolate and popcorn and many great things that you can partake uh, while you're strolling around. And of course, the night wouldn't be complete without the village's annual holiday parade with an appearance from the famous couple themselves, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, getting everyone into the Christmas spirit. And if you weren't able to make it out to the tree lighting ceremony this evening, don't worry, you still have plenty of time to see it, as the tree will be lit every evening from now well into the new year. So be sure to stop by and see it, as well as supporting some of the village's local businesses. Reporting in the village of Clinton, Andrew Gregory, Eyewitness News. To see a full list of events that are taking place this Saturday in Clinton, head to www.clintonnychamber.com. Org. And coming up tonight on Eyewitness.